Governor Eric Holcomb will not run for the Senate next year. His comments came during a Pacers event today. News 8's government reporter Garrett Berquist looks at where this leaves the Senate race. Governor Holcomb has long suggested his post-governorship plans lie outside of Washington. His comments today effectively close the door on a Senate run. Holcomb is the latest in a string of high-profile Republicans who have declined to run for the Senate. Because I'm busy. I was brought up um, th that busy boys were better boys and uh, focus, keep your eye on the ball. And, uh, um, and we've got a lot in the pipeline. If I was sitting around throwing pencils in the ceiling tile, maybe I would have had time to think about something else. But right now, I'm going to finish the job that I started. Holcomb's announcement eliminates one more potential challenger for Congressman Jim Banks. He faces only token opposition so far. He does have what I would say a head start for anyone else looking to enter. He's gotten, I mean, a tremendous amount of endorsements. And so I'm not going to say it clears the path because I don't know who may be jumping in. But anyone looking to jump in would have a hard time competing with Congressman Jim Banks and what his campaign team has been doing up until now. Indiana Democratic Party Chair Mike Schmoll says in normal times, Holcomb could easily beat a wacky congressman in a primary. But these aren't normal times. The governor's decision not to run for the Senate next year shows that today's Indiana Republican Party is too narrow minded and too extreme. So what does he expect to do when he leaves office? If you need an answer right now, I'm not your guy. I got a job, but uh, the day will come when I'll need to start thinking about it. My wife will insist on that. So um, we'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, but we're, we're not there yet. Holcomb's announcement is not unusual. In the past half century, only Governors Edgar Whitcomb and Evan Bayh have run for Senate, and only Bayh was successful. At the Statehouse, I'm Garrett Bergquist for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and like us on Facebook.